everyone, today I'm going to share with you five reasons why buying expensive bags actually help with my personal finances. So let's jump right into it. Number one, buying expensive bags teach me important lessons about personal finance. So what does this mean? This means budgeting and saving. And so uh, buying expensive bags taught me how to create a budget or let's say not taught me because I'm pretty sure you already know about how to create a budgeting a spreadsheet, but are you motivated to create it? That is a different story. I knew how to create a budget, but I did not have the motivation to create a budget because I did not have anything that I wanted to save up for. But since I started buying designer goods and buying expensive bags, I realized the need to create a spreadsheet, to create a budget. And so that motivated me to create my own budgeting spreadsheet. And uh, I also have a template that you can use, which is in my info box, where you can just take and modify a couple things to make it your own to create your own simple monthly budget. And buying expensive bags also taught me the importance of saving. So yes, we all know saving is important, but again, it motivated me to save because without something to save for, it is really hard to find that motivation to go ahead and start saving. So it taught me the importance of saving and it also motivated me to save. And uh, this reminded me of a little story when I was younger, so in high school, I looked at my Taobao year-end annual report that one year and I spent 100k RMB on god knows what and I still remember thinking to myself number one I had that much money to spend and number two what did I spend on like what did I spend money on so I looked at all my previous transactions and I realized they're all little things but cumulatively they add up to be 100k and so that was the time and I guess the tipping point when I realized, wow, I'm buying a bunch of stuff that don't really add happiness or create value in my life, and yet, cumulatively, I am spending a lot of money. And the number two reason of why buying expensive bags actually help with my personal finances is that it motivated me to closely examine my spendings. So as I talked about in my previous example, I looked at my Taobao annual report and I was just shocked by the final number. We all know how to look at credit card statements and bank account statements and seeing the ins and outs, but we're not all motivated to actually look at every single line item. But when you really want to save for, let's say, a very expensive bag like the Hermes Birkin and Kelly that costs like 10k per bag, it really motivates you to look at every single line item because literally every penny counts. So this is my biggest driver of why I start to look at the little detail of my bank statements and try to squeeze every penny out of all my transactions and make sure I don't get overcharged or mistakenly charged for the things that I did not approve for. And the number three reason of why buying expensive bags help with my personal finances is that it taught me the importance of having multiple streams of income. And since I started buying expensive bags at a relatively young age, at the age of 19, it taught me this lesson very early on to maintain multiple streams of income. So when I was 19 and 20, I started live streaming and I was pretty crazy about it. I have pretty strong work ethics and so I would live stream like 12 to 13 hours non-stop straight and only like a couple bathroom breaks here and there and I would just live stream non-stop because I get paid with a base salary so like an hourly salary and I also get paid with I guess you can call it a commission which is with virtual gifts and so I would just like blab about life and talk about my philosophies at that time and just talk about random things. It's like vlogging 24-7 non-stop, but 24-7 uh, for those 13 hours. That's still a lot of time. And it also motivated me to actively seek out for new streams of revenue. So in my 13 stream or 15 streams of revenue video, I also talked about credit card churning, bank account churning, and also investment accounts and all that. And so it really motivated me to find new ways to make money because you can only save so much if you make, let's say, 30000 per year. And so you really have to be creative and find out new ways to make money if you really want to afford several 10k bags per year. And the fourth reason is that expensive bags tend to hold 
equal their value. And since I talked about the Taobao example, I am going to bring up the Taobao example again. A lot of these items I bought on Taobao were actually pretty cheap items when you look at them individually. And so if I were to sell them, I probably would not even be able to sell them because if they can buy a bag for let's say $20, why would they want to buy a used bag for let's say even 50% off, which is $10. They probably don't want to because most people can afford $20 bags. But for a high ticket item, let's say a Chanel bag, if a Chanel bag is discounted by just 20%, which is highly unlikely because Chanel bags, even in the pre-love market, are still very, very expensive. But let's say, for example, if that Chanel bag is discounted by just 20%, I am sure that there will be a lot of buyers wanting to buy that Chanel bag because Chanel bags are so expensive and 20% off is a lot of money off and it really helps with making Chanel become more affordable for people who don't want to spend as much. So since expensive bags tend to hold their value and what I call as value retention, if one day I am sick of them, I can always let them go at a pretty good price and so they're relatively liquid assets so it's kind of like holding a stock right and then if you hold a stock for long-term purposes chances are the price will go up especially if you hold like a mutual fund or an index fund the price will go up and since the price go up in long term holding a bag is pretty much the same thing holding a truly classic bag like Hermes Kelly or Hermes Birkin because you just want the price to go up more than your bag's natural depreciation. And if you take care of your bag well, if you just keep it in your closet and condition it somewhat frequently, or if you use your bag but be a little more gentle and careful with it, chances are if you sell your bag, you will make most of your money back or even make a profit especially with bags like the Hermes Birkin and Kelly. So here are the four reasons why buying expensive bags actually helped with my personal finances. Are they valid reasons? Please let me know in the comments. And I also have a lot of money saving hacks in my playlist. Be sure to check that out and I will see you in my next video. See ya! And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. Since you stay told this long, it means you like me. So you probably should like the video too. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!